And one of the hardest hit areas today was Acadia Parish. Heavy rains knocked down this tree on West Harrop Road and rain blocking that street for hours. That's where we find Danielle Garcia with more on what's going on there right now. Danielle. Jim, city workers have cleared the road, but you can still see the tree off to the side here. We're going to pan off so you can get a better look at what's going on here. You can see the stump and other debris left by the storm. You, there's a, it's been a little bit on the house and mostly in the yard. There's some flooding over here, but just a few miles down the road in Crowley, residents there are also dealing with the aftermath of the storm. I don't think anybody really expected it to be this bad. Um, Again, this is what a flash flood does. It, it, it's, it's unpredictable. You know it's coming, but you just don't know right quite where. Jeff Cavell's home was surrounded by water after Thursday's storm. No water got inside his home, despite drivers passing through and in some cases speeding down the flooded street. He wasn't patient and went right through it and probably put about a 12-foot spray into the people's front yard, potentially the weight going into their homes. Um, all it takes is a fraction of an inch to ruin a wood floor. The city began offering sandbags while crews checked out damage. Now Cavell says his holiday weekend will include more than what he expected. Uh, like any good community, uh, we'll get together, we'll pick up the pieces, pick up the trash and uh, move far and have a good uh, Easter weekend. And most of the floating, flooding is going down now, but there are still some high water areas. If you do need to drive tonight, do not go around the barricades and avoid those high water areas. Live in rain, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. Well, if you need to know, there is a complete list of road closure and sandbag locations. We have that for you at KTC.com.